Hello and welcome to Body Bags. My name is James and I'm your Sunday Night Reviewer. And uh, this evening, it's kind of a review, kind of, but also my thoughts. I'll, I'll explain more. Whew, sorry, it's cold out here. Uh, I'm at home, Helsinki. Well, not quite home, I'm outside. I'm just walking back to my car. So I've just finished at the cinema where I look enough to see Suspiria. So my thoughts on Suspiria. Oh, how do I kind of put this into words? I kind of need to explain at the start. Living in Finland, uh, when you go to the cinema, there's always subtitles and it's uh, Finnish and Swedish being a dual language country. So with Suspiria, there's a fair amount of German and French, which does not get subtitled into English, unfortunately. And my incredibly basic Finnish does not really stretch to reading things quickly in the cinema. So there'll be things that I've lost in there, some details. But that means, lucky enough, I'm going to see this film fresh twice, almost brand new twice. But this first one, the, um, oh, so I'm just running. I'm gonna try and miss the trams. There we go. I think I'll miss the tram. So, ah, oh, this film is hauntingly beautiful. There's some painfully poetic scenes in there of just, ah, <laughs> oh, it's, it's kind of, I need to kind of think about this linear. I've literally just like stepped out of the cinema. Well, the big difference with this is, uh, well, we we're set in Germany, it's in Berlin, a city that I've loved. I've been there four or five times, I think. And you have this kind of gothic awesomeness in the architecture. That's just one point of the film where it actually lacks a little. You don't see enough of the outside, but what you do see, the, uh, the architecture, the actual dance school itself is awesome. It looks fantastic. And, um, oh, well, let's, I'm kind of jumped to the characters as well. Dakota Johnson I was not sure about. Uh, she was superb. I mean, I'm not <laughs> an expert in dance. I don't really know many dance films. Um, kind of follow a little bit of slightly the ballet from Black Swan. But she looked and moved like a dancer. And I don't know, she seemed to just grab hold of the part with two hands. And I was really pleasantly surprised. <laughs> and Tilda Swindon, absolutely amazing. I'm not going to give things away. You will find out about the film. I'm not really going to give too much away because this is in the cinema and very lightly sprinkled across cinemas. So lots of people won't get the chance to see this. And lots of people like myself purposely stayed away from what was happening, the story and pretty much everything. So they don't really know much about the film. Keep it that way. You get floored by these shocks. Oh, the shocks. Tom York does the music. Oh, you have the heart of the film. And then he's the blood through the veins of these scenes with his music. It's fantastic. Oh, I'm a huge Radiohead fan. I've been lucky enough to see them quite a few times. Yeah, I mean, he's iconic to me, but 
this sort of film. I was so excited about him, so excited that I forgot he did the music. Oh my God, I was just so happy watching this film. Yeah, it, it, it's broken up into six. I'm not gonna break all the six segments down or anything. But like I said, oh, the story builds really, I mean, it's, it's pretty close to the OG, how the story builds and everything. But I love how Dakota Johnson took her role. Yeah, it's a role, it's written, but how she reads it, how she acts it, how she interprets it. The kind of timid, timid weakness that she has at the start of the film is just completely eclipsed by the end. The strength and grace that she has. She carries herself fantastically. And it, it, it's when she's at this peak that I said there's this painfully beautiful scenes throughout the film and the one at the end. It kind of made me feel... I don't really get emotional at films, but I could feel with this. I was like, shit, it's starting to get to me. I was not expecting it for something like this. Or this sort of film. But I think maybe that's... I had kind of no idea what I was going, what I was going to expect, and then when it opened out to what it was, it's awesome. It truly, is an awesome film. Um, yeah, you have this kind of yeah, it's an art housey film. Nicely, kind of frame shots. A lot of beautiful architecture. Uh, what I could pick up on the um, the uh, dialogue was good. The English, the interaction between the characters. Mia Goth, she was very good in this as well. That's another one I had to name drop. She was brilliant. And um, oh, there's some sort of party behind me. <laughs> um, where was I? Shit, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I was kind of it's been so long since I've come out of the cinema excited like I, I like I am now it's been a long long time oh god how the film kind of builds up in this huge <laughs> crescendo it's it's magnum opus scene fuck <laughs> it's awesome yeah, it's, um, ah, what's it remind me of? Ah, it's almost, has this, oh, it's obviously this witchcraft, but, oh, how they, they mould it with a dance. And there's the, um, the power shift with characters and the struggle. And... Everything flows through this school. And it's not right at this point in the film. And certain characters pick up on that. Other characters so engrossed in certain areas overlook different things and boom. What's what's there? The uh the whole shit moment <laughs> it really is great. Um admit there's a few bits of CGI but for what it is did not take me out of the film at all hey, hey car Whew, thank goodness I'm gonna get warm now yeah it's frosty out here yeah it didn't it didn't take take you out of the film this small bits of CGI because there's some good gore to it but it's kind of it it, 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 it it could have been done practical, but it was fine CG. Yeah, it was fine CG. And remembering now what I was on about, Jesus. How about this going all backwards and forwards on this review? It's what happens when you're excited. The kind of cinematography is kind of very um, P 
purposely unpolished kind of, well, I'm going to put this light on, purposely unpolished kind of that throwback to the 70s with the kind of, and you zoom in in very quickly and it's like, oh shit, the cameraman's not lined it up perfectly and it's, yeah, it's cool. And it pans and flicks around and it's like <gasps> capturing moments and the panning on people's faces. But it fits really well. It, it, that That's kind of in the first, third, maybe first half of the film and it slips and becomes more polished in the art house as it goes along. It's kind of like the um, the cinematography kind of follows the almost um, kind of confidence of Dakota Johnson in in the film. Yeah. Um, shit, what's her name? Fuck, I just that Sarah. Is that it? Damn, I can't remember. <laughs> I should know this. But yeah, her, it's kind of like the, the camera work, the, cinema, the cinematography kind of follows the... <laughs> yeah, as that's how I read it, that the confidence and structure and solidness and kind of elegance builds through the film as it builds with her character but we know Suspiria we know that it's witches and witchcraft and it's kind of hidden within a dance school and that is the heart and soul of what this film still is and characters solid performances fantastic the only kind of performance I didn't get on board with, because it's very difficult, was the Chloe Grace Moretz, but she has such a small role, and unfortunately I had a kind of a, a, a slight apprehension to her being in the film, and she wasn't allowed to show herself, like, like Dakota Johnson, who was always like, shit, she's in it, and blew me away, her character, her, her performance. She was superb. Everyone in the film was really good. Yeah, and the the, um, dialogue it's like I said I'm lucky enough to watch this and it's almost going to be like two first time fresh watches which I was slightly like oh fuck when I realised how much kind of German there was and when it flicked into French but then I took it in a good way I was like right that's going to allow me to focus and look at different things and subtlety of camera work and what's going on and looking at the people's faces and like Tilda Swinton and how she acts and it's almost like oh her face is just a canvas of emotion she is superb she's one of my favorite actresses yeah I don't think I'm going to ramble on too much more because this is going on quite a long time and I just wanted to pour out kind of my excitement, which I kind of have done. Okay, so this isn't really... I'm not going to rate the film or anything. I have a rating. And I can't justify the rating. Fuck it. I, it's like a 10 out of 10. Almost. Oh, God, no. It's going to be like a nine out, nine and a half out of 10. I can't justify giving the 10 for something that I haven't truly fully seen. Well, I need to grasp all the details that that are on hand for me because i I need to obviously re-watch this and really focus on dialogue this time because i've focused on all the the visuals and what was happening and kind of punching in and out of the dialogue when it's english and um yeah i will really i will review sorry review it for a second time but this movie is fantastic don't have any kind of ah, misconception preconceptions on on what this will be watch it watch it independent of being a Suspiria remake just just don't watch it like that and ah, it's difficult because I like if you are watching it like that you're gonna have a completely different experience from what I just had but then I think I've had a slightly unique experience in the fact that I didn't, couldn't pick everything up that I wanted to in the first time, but it made me look at things differently. It allowed me to look at things differently of maybe what I would not do for a normal first time watch. A fantastic experience. I've seen it on the big screen. I'm very, very lucky at that. Thank you, Helsinki, for putting it on. Kino Palazzi, I think, cinema. But that's it. Right, that's the end of my review. This is a very long, and I do apologise 
and it's kind of mostly my excited rambles of a crazed English guy who's very tired. But that's it. Thank you. And um, yeah, I look forward to getting back to you all with a proper second review in the new year at some point when this comes out. I'm 100% buying this film. Yes, it's fantastic. Thank you, body bags. Good night.